ABC4 Utah. We will miss her long hugs and the distinct feeling that she would hold on to us forever if she could. Now at four, family, friends, say goodbye to Jill Robinson, the code enforcement officer shot and killed last week in West Valley City. Plus, as the Catholic Church sex abuse scandal continues to unravel in Pennsylvania, the news hits close to home for two Utah brothers who made similar allegations against the Salt Lake Catholic Diocese 15 years ago. And a new wildfire is raging in northeastern Utah. What it could mean for your weekend plans. Live from Utah's first TV station, News for Utah at 4 starts now. I'm Kim Fisher and for Saray Chen. And I'm Glenn Mills. Glad to have you with us tonight. Friends, family, and co workers gathering for the funeral of Jill Robinson. She lost her life in the line of duty. Today, hundreds turned out to remember the life of the West Valley City Code Enforcement Officer. News for Utah's Brittany Johnson was at the Maverick Center for the service. Today was all about celebrating the life of Jill Robinson, a loving mother, sister, and loyal friend who will be missed by many. <laughs> Jill Robinson, escorted by Utah firefighters, Emerald Society, surrounded by law enforcement, code enforcement officers from around the state, and city officials laid to rest. This past week has been the hardest week for me and our family. We are shocked and devastated beyond what one can't even comprehend. Before today's service, her sister Julie speaking on behalf of the family, thanking those for their support and comfort. Thanks to all those I have encountered this past week who have gave kind smiles, loving hugs, soft words, and shed tears with me. Your love was needed and appreciated. You kept me going. Trying to hold back tears? I'm going to have a hard time because she was so full of life. Julie reminds us of her sister's love for animals. Jill was an animal lover of all kinds. Horse races in Wyoming. The one thing that we loved is if you go there, you will get 50 cent pieces for change. Sports. We loved cheering at the hockey and screaming so loud that we lost our voice. And being a mother. Just, it's a heartbreaking it's, it's heartbreaking. It's Jill's work supervisor, also in attendance, chokes up when asked what he'd say to Jill if he could speak with her today. If Jill were here today, I, I, would, I, would, I would say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this happened to you. Her sister asking for one thing. Keep Jill Robinson in your heart. That was Brittany Johnson reporting for us tonight. If you'd like to watch the service in its entirety, we're making that possible for you. Just head over to our website, goodforutah.com. The Vatican broke its silence on the church abuse scandal, sending shockwaves throughout the state of Pennsylvania. According to a grand jury report, more than a thousand children were abused by at least 300 priests. A Vatican spokesman said the Pope treats this report with great seriousness and, quote, condemns unequivocally the sexual abuse of minors. The shocking report stirred up awful memories for one Salt Lake man. News for Utah's Marcus Ortiz met with Charlie uh, Colosimo, who once sued the Salt Lake Diocese on similar allegations. So, Marcos, what happened to him? Well, he, along with his brother Ralph, sued over the allegations, but the case was dismissed because the statute of limitations had run out. Now, this is the priest that Colosimo was named in their lawsuit. Back then, he was known as Father James Rapp. He taught at Judge Memorial where the Colosimos uh, came to know him. Now, Charlie Colosimo claims Rapp sexually molested him at a home in Rose Park and other places. Colosimo says after the lawsuit was dismissed, the church apologized, but for years, he says it left him bitter. And after hearing what happened in Pennsylvania this week, Colosimo sympathized with these latest victims. My first reaction was sadness, just incredible sadness and incredible empathy. And for me, it was almost as if something had been unearthed again. And my, one of my first responses was, oh my gosh, when is, when is this going to stop? Now, Colosimo says therapy helped him get over his bitterness. Coming up in the next hour, healing at a Michigan prison. Back to you. 
Marcus, thank you. An update now to a suspicious death we told you about yesterday. Someone found a body in Ogden near 600 West 21st Street. Now, police say a traffic stop actually led to the arrest of the murder suspect. Weber County deputies stopped 35-year-old Corey Fitzwater early Thursday morning. Now, during the search of his car, deputies say they found a gun and drugs. Later, they determined that weapon was used in the murder of a homeless man at a transient camp. The name of the victim has not been released. We are tracking a new wildfire that started yesterday evening and just continues to grow. The North Eden fire is burning near Bear Lake on the border of Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Now, at last estimate, the fire has burned between 8,000 and 10,000 acres. These pictures show just how much smoke is coming from the fire. That could impact anyone looking to get away to Bear Lake this weekend. Now, Dan is here with a look at the latest conditions there and in other areas of concern. Dan. Kim, across the Northwest, as we all know, these fires have been burning out of control. We fortunately have seen some improvement in the air quality here in Utah. The southwesterly flow is bringing in somewhat clearer air. This is the computer model smoke map. The red indicates the thicker smoke and where the smoke is moving. Here's Utah right here, the Bear Lake fire, that North Eden fire burning. Watch what happens when the cold front moves through and look where this smoke plume goes tomorrow. So behind the front, we're going to see smoke increasing across northern Utah and also right here, a lot of smoke in the uh, North Eden fire area. Now the front is associated with some fairly strong thunderstorms in northeast Nevada, south central Idaho. Right here is where the front is, severe thunderstorm warning and a flash flood warning where you see the areas on the map right there and uh, just to the west of Wendover we have a pretty good sized thunderstorm so I'll have details on this and when I expect it will arrive in Salt Lake City coming up in just a few minutes back to you. The Hogle Zoo says it goes through about 50,000 straws a year but now those days are over. The zoo is officially strawless and bagless working towards zero single-use plastics they're encouraging guests to bring or buy refillable options. All souvenir cups and crazy critter bottles will no longer be sold with straws. When our guests come here to the zoo, they see animals, they fall in love with animals, they learn about animals, and then we want to help them save animals. Now, disability advocates are expressing some concern about people that do need to use straws, so the zoo says it is working with them on a non-plastic solution. Yeah, they have the paper straws that are becoming so popular now. Yeah. Yeah. All new, right. A new era. This is where we're going. <laughs> Still ahead in your national news headlines. A young woman accused of pushing her friend off a bridge in Washington, that is so hard to watch, could face charges. What she's saying about the incident today. Plus, the opioid crisis is sweeping the country. What Utah is doing in response that federal officials say the rest of the country should do as well. And a young girl who saved her baby sister gets an award. We are there for her special day. Monday, September 10th. I'm coming back loud, proud, and in charge. This is your 10th spot. Portions of this program include sponsored segments. My father passed his truck down to me. That's the same thing I want to do with you. It's an emotional thing to watch your child grow up and especially get behind the wheel. I want to keep, you know, stacking up the memories and the miles and the years. He's going to get mine, but I'm going to get oh, a new one. When it's time for your old Chevy truck to become their new Chevy truck, there's great deals from Chevy. Now get 14% below MSRP on all Silverado 1500 pickups. Ski Chevy is back. Get two season passes to Solitude Mountain Resort. When you purchase or lease select Chevy models, Xfinity Mobile is a new wireless network designed to save you money, even when you've got serious binging to do. Wherever your phone takes you, the wireless bill is about to cost a whole lot less. Use less data with a network that has the most Wi-Fi hotspots where you need them and the best 4G LTE everywhere else, saving you hundreds of dollars a year. And ask how you get Xfinity Mobile included with your internet. Plus, get $300 back when you buy a new smartphone. Xfinity Mobile. It's simple, easy, awesome. Click call or visit a store today. You are witches. What? What is going on? Enough, okay? Witches aren't real. Was Mama a witch? Bingo. This is our legacy. Mama wanted us to do this, and now we can figure out who killed her. You are the charmed ones.
We're back now with growing backlash surrounding President Trump's decision to pull security clearance from former CIA director John Brennan. Brennan not backing down. He says President Trump's claims of no collusion with Russia are, quote, hogwash. But today, the president is doubling down on his decision to revoke Brennan's security clearance, denying the move was an effort to silence a critic. If anything, I'm giving him a bigger voice. Many people don't even know who he is. I've never respected him. But Brennan's former colleagues are speaking out. The retired Navy admiral who oversaw the raid that killed Osama bin Laden, William McRaven, wrote this. I would consider it an honor if you would revoke my security clearance as well so I can add my name to the list of men and women who have spoken up against your presidency. This week, the White House naming nine other people whose clearance they are now reviewing. Day two of deliberations in the case of Paul Manafort and still no verdict. The former Trump campaign chairman is accused of 18 felony counts of tax and bank fraud before his work on the 2016 campaign. Prosecutors on special counsel Robert Mueller's team claim Manafort hid millions of dollars from the IRS in offshore accounts and defrauded banks. The president, when asked if he's considering pardoning Manafort if he's convicted, said he didn't know. Prosecutors charged the 18-year-old girl suspected of pushing her friend, 16-year-old Jordan Holgerson, off of a bridge in Washington state. That terrifying incident, as you just saw, was caught on video as Taylor Smith allegedly pushed Holgerson into the water 60 feet below. Doctors say that teen is lucky to be alive, suffering broken ribs and punctured lungs. Now we're hearing Smith's side of the story. She wanted to jump and she was scared and she had asked me to give her a push and I didn't think about the consequences. I thought she would be fine. Prosecutors now say that push was a crime. They charged Smith with reckless endangerment. Coming up, we've been following the progress of Evermore Park in Pleasant Grove since the very beginning. Now, they're almost ready to open and announcing a big partnership with FanX. That's just ahead. And outside, we are looking at some uh, rather hazy conditions, tracking thunderstorms that are now getting out of, uh, out of Idaho and into Nevada. These are some strong ones headed our way in Utah's most accurate forecast coming up after the break. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Titan, featuring an Endurance V8 with best-in-class standard horsepower and torque, backed by America's best truck warranty. The smartest time to buy a new Titan is now. Save up to 11683 on the 2018 Titan or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Hi, you came at the perfect time because it's the Xfinity best deal of the year. Get two full years of this great rate. Plus, ask about getting 300 bucks back when you include Xfinity Mobile with your internet. Amazing, right? More tuba! Simple, easy, awesome. Get our best deal of the year with more speed than ever and the same great rate for two years. Plus, ask how to save in your wireless bill when you include Xfinity Mobile with your internet. Click, call, or visit us today. It's simple. People count on you, and you count on your truck. So we built you the most capable line of Ram trucks yet. The all-new Ram 1500 delivers best-in-class V8 towing. The Ram 2500 has best-in-class gas towing. And the Ram 3500 gives you best-in-class fifth-wheel towing. That's why more people are switching to Ram than ever before. During the summer clearance event, get 0% APR for 72 months, plus no monthly payments for 90 days on the 2018 Ram 1500. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Weather rate certified seven years in a row. One of the driving forces behind terrible wildfires is how dry it is. And the regional drought monitor, which is updated every week on Thursday, shows exceptional drought. That's right here around the Sam Pete and the Severe Valleys in the Four Corners area. And severe drought extends north all the way up to Logan. So it doesn't take much to spark a fire. It could be a lightning strike. It could be 
carelessness with a with a campfire. It could be anything, and so we have to be so very, very cautious. We have thunderstorms lining up along a cold front right here. We have monsoon moisture to the south. I'm a bit concerned about how active the weather might turn a little bit this evening. This is a bona fide front. It has some south winds ahead of it, but more importantly, it has gusty northwest winds behind it. There will also be microburst winds associated with it, so we're watching some uh, severe weather. This is a flash flood watches that are in isolated areas of Elko County, but this is in the Jarbridge area, the northern Elko County mountains, and right here along the Utah and Nevada border. We have some thunderstorms that have been turning heavy, almost uh, severe right here in the Raft River Range near Park Valley and up into southern Idaho. Look at these storms near Burley and Twin Falls as that cold front works its way towards Salt Lake City. The estimated time of arrival is about to 9 to midnight. So right now, one thunderstorm coming into Wendover and the concern obviously is we could see an increase in dry lightning associated with the front and microburst winds, which will cause havoc on the new north the Eden North fire and also on any of the other fires burning, in particular the Coal Hollow fire. So I'm very concerned about that. Southern Utah is much quieter today with isolated thunderstorms popping up from Cedar City South. We have some, uh, well, not, I, it's quieter near St. George, but not so much here in the Kanab and Antimony area south of Richfield. Active weather as it has been most of the monsoon season extending over to the Escalante and Grand Staircase Escalante also towards Lake Powell. We have flash floods right here, a flash flood of warning in effect very close to the Virgin River Gorge. So we continue to watch these areas and keep you posted. Here's your future cast. As we put this into motion, you'll notice the uh, line of thunderstorms coming through. This is between about 9 and midnight. Also a few thunderstorms near Cedar City. We'll put this into motion and watch as it works its way eastward to Rock Springs by 4 a.m., but it'll have cleared the Salt Lake City area very nicely. All the way into Saturday, more thunderstorms in uh, Wyoming, but not so in Utah. We are in a quieter pattern. The problem is going to be all of this smoke that's up here in the northwest, that's going to push over and into Utah. So that, that'll happen Saturday night into Sunday. And then during the day Sunday, the winds slip around to the southwest, should push that smoke back away. And on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to have a southwesterly flow aloft, and that will change the weather pattern and bring uh, uh, less smoke, okay? And a little higher chance for some thunderstorm activity as we head into, sun, into a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But right now, Saturday and Sunday both look pretty good. Here's our high temperature for Logan tomorrow. It's going to be 93. It'll be 90 in Provo, 88 in Salt Lake City. And uh, for the seven-day forecast, St. St. George will see a slight increase in wind tonight and tomorrow morning, but it doesn't cool us down. That front actually is a, is a downsloping front, so it turns hotter. 103, 104, Sunday, Monday. A slight chance for storms Tuesday, Wednesday as the flow turns back around to the south. Isolated to scattered thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. That'll help cool highs back into the upper 90s along the Wasatch Front plan on the early, early morning storms, late tonight, tomorrow morning, and then cooler temperatures in the upper 80s, both Saturday and Sunday. Really nice day Sunday if, it, if that smoke would just stay away. Then isolated storms begin Monday, especially late in the day, scattered storms on Tuesday and on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as more moisture moves up from the south. We're definitely in that uh, changeable weather pattern, hoping Kim, the smoke doesn't return. No, we can hope, right? Yeah, cross our, cross fingers. our fingers. That's about all we can do. Right. All right, thanks, Dan. Glenn has more on an exciting new partnership between FanX Salt Lake Comic Convention and Evermore Park. Glenn. That's right, Kim. I'm here now with Josh Shipley and Tanisha Brett Schneider with Evermore. Great to have both of you with us. Thanks so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. We've been talking about this since you started construction, uh, so it's exciting to kind of see the progress and, and have you on and knowing now that we're getting so close. Uh, but let's start off with uh, the park, Evermore. What's it all about? Evermore is a giant theatrical stage, actually. I mean, we, we get compared to theme parks. My background is theme parks and theater, and we're combining those. Uh, almost 11 acres of a actual immersive living theatrical environment. We have our actors and characters and our guests will come in, role play and be engaged with uh, all that is happening. Okay, so here's a little bit of uh, a look at the construction here. Now, I was talking to you guys during the break about, you know, is this gonna be like a Harry Potter experience? And you're all, no, you make your own content. Mm -hmm. This is something you guys are building from the ground up. Yeah, it's all original. Um, we've created our own characters, our own storyline, our own mythology for the park. Um, and yeah, it's going to be 
a really cool interactive experience where you get to kind of discover that story that we've created. Utah is a huge place for this. Uh, you know, Harry Potter does very well here. Star Wars does very well here. Is that kind of what you're hoping will help uh, play into the success of your park? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the fact that Utah is so rich with that pop culture consumption, mm -hmm. Uh, we feel like the, the, the market here is, is perfect for that kind of thing, especially with the role play. It's not just going to a, a movie and, and, and watching, it's also the ability to step in as a character yourself. We're really hoping our guests and our fans will embrace the, the stories we're creating and start creating their own characters and coming in and living it. I understand you can't, you know, give us the whole list here, but give us a little teaser about what type of characters and scenarios we might find. Um, some of the characters that we've revealed to the public are, we've had our dragon trainer, um, yeah. and you know, she has a little uh, dragon that she carries around with her, a little baby dragon that we actually had a contest to have everyone, uh, all of our followers name. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll see characters like we have our, our goblin hero and our uh, mm -hmm. um, kind of our, uh, our, our lead, I guess, if you will, uh, who is J. Burt Whistle Wickham. And uh, he's kind of our crazy inventor who mm -hmm. ended up finding and, and opening the portals that kind of helps move our story along, so. All right, uh, talk about the the uh, partnership with FanX and how that's coming together. Uh, so with FanX, we have joined forces with them this year, and we're going to have a very large presence at the convention on floor uh, 40 by 80 foot uh, booth, and we're going to be recreating uh, a bit of Evermore there on floor, a mm -hmm. lot to explore, see, interact. It sounds with. like a very natural combination. It really, <laughs> it really is. It's, it's not just the fan base, but in terms of those that we work with there, there's this great blend and understanding mm -hmm. of what the fans really gravitate towards. Okay. Uh, when is uh, Evermore going to be opening, and, and how can people learn more about getting tickets and coming on down? Um, we're actually going to be opening um, with a uh, an exclusive opening party okay. on the 8th. Yeah, September 8th. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's coming up really that's quick. And there's the address and everything. Mm -hmm. Tickets, where can people go for tickets? Evermore.com is where tickets are on sale. And uh, they are on sale right now. That is mm -hmm. a party with <laughs> Annex as they're closing the week. Mm -hmm. We're opening Evermore. Okay, fantastic. I look forward to the opening. I'm sure we'll see you guys again. Thanks so much for being Thank here. You. Appreciate Thank you. it. You bet. Coming up in entertainment news tonight, tributes to the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. How her longtime friends are remembering her. What would you do if you saw a parent leaving her son at the beach unsupervised? I'll see you at six. Love you. Well, but our hidden cameras caught. What's the worst that could happen at the beach? Sunburn. They surprise <laughs> you. I'm going to have to report that to the police. What would you do tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC? Okay, we're going to talk about cars today. If you were going to design your perfect car, which three features would you choose? Safety with the kids. Fuel efficiency. Affordable price. My dream car would have all of these things. What if I told you that there was a car that did have everything? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> this is the Chevy Cruze. Go Chevy. Current qualified GM lessees can get $3,750 total cash allowance on most Cruze and Malibu models when you purchase. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. It's here. The summer sell-off RV event is going on now, only at Camping World. Now through August 31st, America's number one RV dealer is offering huge savings on hundreds of RVs, up to 44% off. Save big on new travel trailers, including this Jayco Octane, yours for only $169 per month. Inventory is selling fast. Act now before these deals are gone. Don't wait. The summer sell-off RV event ends this month. Visit your local Camping World Supercenter today. We can't fit all the candles in Murdoch's 90-second birthday cake, and we can't fit all the deals in this 15-second commercial. For our birthday, get up to $8,000 off the Hyundai Santa Fe. Plus, get brakes, oil changes, and car washes all for life. You've got to come and see. Been thinking about updating your home? Well, I've got good news. There's no better time than right now at RC Willie. There's still time to dream big and save store-wide. Through Saturday, you'll find dreamy savings on dining sets. This counter height set is $7.99, and this versatile set is $7.99. Save $300 on this set, now $8.99. Enter to win $10,000 toward a dream vacation. Through Saturday, enjoy incredible savings in every department. Don't miss your chance to dream big and save at RC Willie. Denali, a badge of honor for the relentless who never tire of striving for the best. This is your invitation to upgrade. The GMC Denali Invitation, going on now.
Visit your GMC dealer today. Get these offers on select 2018 GMC Denali models when you finance through GM Financial, like over 9,100 below MSRP on this specially equipped Sierra 1500 Denali. We're back with the latest in entertainment news. Today, tributes continue to pour in for Aretha Franklin. Jennifer Hudson posting a video on Instagram of Franklin singing Let It Be, writing, Franklin taught her so much about life and she'll never forget those teachings. Hudson is supposed to play Franklin, by the way, in an upcoming movie about the iconic singer. Definitely see that one. Longtime friend of Franklin and fellow singer Gladys Knight is also sharing her memories. She had a voice that was God-given and she used it to the, the best of her ability and to all kinds of heights. And she, you know what? With Aretha, she didn't really know what she had. She was kind of shy. It's amazing to not understand that you have that amazing right? voice. Mm -hmm. All tributes for Franklin have popped up on Fremont Street in Las Vegas and on her star at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And is there anyone more perfectly suited to play Franklin than Jennifer no, Hudson? No, no. Yeah. Another great voice there. Yep. At the box office this weekend, there's some competition between some new releases. But we'll probably see a win for Crazy Rich Asians. The romantic comedy set in Singapore could open in the top spot, expected to make a total of $35 million from its opening day Wednesday all the way through Sunday. Mark Wahlberg's military thriller, Mile 22, looks to open in third, right behind The Meg with about 15 million. And then there's The Alpha, the ice age story about a boy and a wolf. Well, it won't be anywhere near the top of the pack we're expecting. I've heard a lot about Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, it's, it's really supposed good. to be pretty good. All right, Scarlett <laughs> Johansson the world's highest paid actress. Yeah, Forbes magazine estimates the Avengers of Infinity War star made $40.5 million between wow. last June and this June. That's easily topping the runner-up, uh, Angelina Jolie, who made $28 million, largely for the upcoming Maleficent 2. Uh, Maleficent 2. Yes. <laughs> and in third place, your favorite, Jennifer Aniston, who made her. most of her $19.5 million bucks through endorsement deals. She just looks so sweet. Like yeah. she could be your best friend. She does, uh, but kind of strange to have her and Jolie yeah. in the same little uh, top three there, huh? Oof. Yeah, I wasn't gonna bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. All right, of course, <laughs> coming up. A St. George seven-year-old who saved her baby sister's life is getting special recognition day. Her life-saving actions next at 4.30. Hair care for members of the News for Utah team provided by Matthew Landis and Michael Stockdale. The pregnant mom murder investigation. He's accused of killing his wife and daughters. What we've learned about the case shocking America. Watch the next Inside Edition. Tonight at 6.30 on ABC for Utah. Adults are just kids with much, much better toys. Introducing the 2018 C-Class sedan, coupe, and cabriolet. The thrills keep getting better. Lease the C300 formatic for $3.99 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. This is no place for the timid. Out here, one wrong move can mean the end. But whenever challenges try to pin you down, you bite back. With T-Rex Brute Force, the unmatched strength of a single loop of tape holds more than 700 pounds. So when you're faced with even the most ferocious challenges, bite hard with the absolute strongest duct tape. T-Rex Brute Force. I'm with Chris, he's an attorney with the Advocates, and we are right along the route of the Tour of Utah. Professional cyclists going by right next to us. Chris, if you're just a regular cyclist at home, how do you stay safe on the roads? Well, be extra vigilant of the traffic laws, you know? Wear your helmet um, and make sure that you can be seen when you're out there on the roadway. And what about for the drivers? Give them three feet of space. Just see them, right? Yeah, be careful, see. put down the distractions. Yeah. If you've been injured in an accident or you have any questions, utahadvocates.com. When you drive a redesigned 2019 Jeep Cherokee, have an idea. a roadblock is a ticket to adventure. Mike said, hey guys, almost at Vista Point. With legendary capability and the ultimate in-car experience, the adventure never ends. 
Connect with great deals on the official vehicles of summer. Right now, well-qualified lessees of competitive vehicles get a low-mileage lease on the new 2019 Jeep Cherokee for $199 a month. Hey, everybody. Get ready for the National Ability Center Summit Challenge. This year's ride is August 25th in Park City. There are fully supported road courses ranging from 16 to 100 miles. Get all the details and register today at summitchallenge100.org. And I'll see you here. Live from Utah's first TV station, News for Utah at 4.30 starts now. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Kim Fisher in for Saray Chen. The shocking grand jury report of child abuse at a Catholic diocese in Pennsylvania stirred up awful memories for one Salt Lake man. Harley Calissimo and his brother once sued the Salt Lake Diocese on similar allegations, but that case was dismissed because of the statute of limitations. It ran out. After hearing what happened in Pennsylvania, Calissimo sympathized with these latest victims. You'll hear from him tonight at 5. Friends, family, and co-workers gathered for the funeral of West Valley City Code Enforcement Officer Jill Robinson today. She lost her life in the line of duty. Hundreds turned out at the Maverick Center to remember Robinson. If you would like to watch that service in its entirety, just go to our website, goodforutah.com. And we are tracking a new wildfire that started yesterday evening, and it just continues to grow. The North Eden Fire is burning near Bear Lake on the border of Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. At last estimate, that fire has burned between 8,000 and 10,000 acres. A top government official is in Utah to address a crisis that has a strong hold on our state and the rest of the country. Admiral Brett Giroir is the Assistant Secretary for Health at the Department of Health and Human Services. He oversees the federal government's response to the opioid emergency. He's here to deliver a keynote address at a symposium at the University of Utah and see what's happening right here from the front lines. 72,000 Americans died of an overdose last year, but Giroir is confident we can reverse that. I know we're going to defeat the opioid outbreak. Um, the amount of uh, prescriptions for opioids are going down. The amount of people in therapy are going up. The amount of medication-assisted treatment is going up. Naloxone is being distributed very widely. He says Utah is helping lead the way. He points to the state prescription tracking database and making naloxone readily available at any pharmacy as innovative steps. An eight-year-old hero gets a big honor from St. George Police after saving her baby sister's life. Dylan Ott says she just did what she needed to do. She called 911 when her baby sister was found unconscious in the family swimming pool. But dispatcher Katie LaFerve, who answered Dylan's call, says it was so much more. She wasn't frantic. She was extremely calm. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better person. She was better than... 99% of the adults that we talked to. Yeah. How she said I was like 99.9 .9 better than most of the adults. I'm like, yay! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> St. George police say it is important for kids to know how to call 911 and also important for them to know their address. Dylan knew both. You can see this full story about Dylan's brave rescue on our website, goodforutah.com. Exploration of deep space could get a lot easier thanks to two BYU professors. Dr. Brian Jeffs and Dr. Carl Warnick at BYU's Computer Engineering School have been working on a prototype of a specialized antenna that they will be attaching to the Arcebo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico. Radio telescopes can take pictures of deep space that light telescopes cannot. We can look at a wider field of view, survey the sky in bigger chunks. The antenna will help the telescope take bigger and faster pictures of deep space and could even help in the search for alien life. Whoa. It's all possible by a grant from the National Science Foundation given to BYU researchers. They help to finish the super sensitive antenna by 2022. Man, those are smart people. Yes, I look much at more so than me. Yeah, <laughs> what is it? All right, well, still ahead. Help during a difficult time of losing a loved one. But first, check back in with Chief Meteorologist Dan Pope. And Dan, the weekend is here, so a lot of us are wondering how it's going to be uh, looking out there. It'll be pretty good across southern Utah, and as you can see here on the Pinpoint webcam, the Southern Utah University Camera Network. We're tracking thunderstorms right now across southern Utah, eastern Nevada, and southern Idaho. This is what it will look like in southern Utah tomorrow, but in the north, an increase in smoke. I'll to tell you why coming up in Utah's most accurate forecast. You are witches. What? This is our legacy. You 
are the charmed ones. Portions of this program include sponsored segments. Hey, Mom, you know how you wanted me to go through the drive-thru? Well, I'm here, but a uh, slight problem. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Come in today to take advantage of Mako's overall paint sale. Starting at just $4.99. Mako, America's body shop. Fan X. The ultimate fan experience is back this September 6th through 8th at the Salt Palace Convention Center. There will be movie stars, panels, parties, artists, authors, cosplay, and geek merchandise galore. Come meet your favorite heroes or villains and get photo ops and autographs from celebrities like Ben Affleck, Evangeline Lilly, Dick Van Dyke, David Tennant, Chuck Norris, and more. Tickets now available at FanXSaltLake.com, formerly known as Salt Lake Comic Con. Black Bear Diner does burgers big and bold. And for a limited time only, three new bold burgers. Your choice for only $8.99. First up, the Blazing Bear Burger brings the heat with our original Papa Burn barbecue sauce. Or bite into the Fajita Burger, Southwest flavor on an American classic. Finally, the Steakhouse Burger takes savory to a whole new level. For a limited time only. So hurry, your pick, just $8.99. Hi, you came at the perfect time because it's the Xfinity best deal of the year. Get two full years of this great rate. Plus, ask about getting 300 bucks back when you include Xfinity Mobile with the internet. Amazing, right? More tuba! Simple, easy, awesome. Get our best deal of the year with more speed than ever and the same great rate for two years. Plus, ask how to save in your wireless bill when you include Xfinity Mobile with your internet. Click, call, or visit us today. For top quality floors at rock bottom prices, there's no place like Floor & Decor. You'll find the largest in-stock selection of tile, wood, and stone. You have to see it to believe it. Visit us in-store or online at floorandecor.com. Hey, Mom, you know how you wanted me to go through the drive-thru? Well, I'm here, but a uh, slight problem. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Come in today to take advantage of Mako's overall paint sale. Starting at just $4.99. Mako, America's body shop. The summer sizzling sales event at Marcosian Auto in Ogden and Taylorsville. Glenn, what would you do for whiter teeth? Uh, there's probably nothing I wouldn't do for whiter teeth. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah, Nisha <laughs> Gehring has one way we can make that happen in this sponsored segment. If your teeth are yellowing due to coffee, tea, candy, juice, or even smoking, you need to pay attention to this. Melinda says a whiter smile can actually make you more attractive, even take years off your appearance. And if you want whiter teeth in just five minutes, she can help. I'm glad <laughs> you're here. Hey, nice to see you. So you have a test for our viewers this morning. There's a test. Why not take a test? So it's called Would You Rather? And we're going to show pictures side by side of someone with their teeth whitened and before whitening. So obviously it's common sense, right? If you have a relationship with someone, if you work with someone, if they have whiter teeth, it's going to make a difference. If you meet someone and they have great hair, great clothes, and they start talking, they have yellow and stained teeth, it does affect you. It's in what a, you notice. You notice it right mm -hmm. away. The teeth are kind of everything. So we want to help you with that in just five minutes. Who doesn't want that? Well, that was an easy test. Yeah. <laughs> but we all know what we liked. You're helping us using what product? Oh, so this is Power Swabs. <laughs> hey, Power Swabs. So it's a great way to whiten your teeth. It was created by a dentist to mm -hmm. get rid of that sensitivity. If you've ever whitened your teeth, one of the big things everybody talks about is... It hurts. It hurts so much. So he came up with a way that you can add moisture to your teeth while you're whitening it so you won't have the sensitivity. Easy to use, quick. It's easy to use, it's quick, there's no mess. So while we're talking about it, I'm actually gonna swab so I can show you that oh, it's right an on the go. Okay. So it's it's called uh, power swabs. The first swab is a stain out swab. So when you pop it open, this takes the stains off and adds moisture to your teeth. So you can apply it and you can talk while you do it. So you, you really you can. Know, so you don't lose any time. If you ever whiten your teeth at home, what happens? You have to set aside time. You What's have the to trays? It's those darn trays which goopy. I have used. This tastes really good. You don't have to rinse or mm -hmm. spin. It's it's really it's really minty so I just took my stains off I've added moisture to my teeth now I'm gonna whiten my teeth so think about this if you take the stains off 
your teeth are going to stay whiter longer, right? Because so really no tray after that first step. No tray. So then you go straight to the whitener. And here's what I like about this. You can focus. I have a tendency to get more stains on my bottom teeth. So, so I, I can, right? I can focus. I used to use the trays. I would put the gel and just like hope for the best and kind of look in the mirror, right? The fact that you can talk, you can use this, you can still look at your phone if you want to while you're using the power swabs. And the thing is it was created by a dentist. So he knows all those issues that people were worried about. No fuss, no muss, easy to use. And it was created by a dentist. Melinda has tried it and loves it. Let's listen to other people that have tried power swabs too. I've smoked, I've drank coffee, I drink red wine. It definitely, it makes my teeth darker. And using power swabs, it's made a difference. People ask me, what do you do to whiten your teeth? And I'm really proud to tell them that I use power swabs. When I use these whitening strips, I noticed when I would drink, I would get this crazy sensitivity. It would go right to my brain and I'm like, ah, I hate this. So why do I have to go through the monstrosity of this pain just because I want to whiten my teeth? With power swabs, there was zero sensitivity. Even if you get right up on the top of the gum? Right. I know that was my worry before because I used to get spot. little blisters when I used the gels and trays. Remember, we're adding moisture to the enamel so you're not going to have that sensitivity. Does this work on your caps, your crowns, and your veneers? That's my favorite thing. It takes the stains off caps, crowns, veneers when you're taking those stains off. So think about it. Your teeth are actually going to match up, right? So you can actually get results in the first five minutes. We tell people take pictures, send them. We love to hear about it. Clinically proven, patented technology. Remember, two shades wider in just five minutes. It's six shades in seven days. Melinda, do you need to use it every day? So you use it just for one week. You use it five minutes a day for one week, and you won't have to whiten again for about six months or so. You can do this, everyone. Right? This can work <laughs> right into your routine. What do you have for our viewers that would like to try it? So anyone calls in and they say they saw us talking about this today, they're going to get 40% off the retail price and free shipping just by saying they saw this segment. Look younger, be more attractive, improve your love life. Right? Save money. <laughs> Save money. <laughs> I'll go to our website, everyone. We'll link you to the Power Swab site, goodforutah.com. Melinda, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So ahead on News for Utah 4, when you or a loved one is nearing the end of life, there are a lot of tough decisions to make. Yeah, one person who you can call to help through that transition is an end of life doula. We're going to talk with two of them coming up. Tonight, the fate of Paul Manafort. What will the verdict mean for the Russia investigation, Robert Mueller, and the White House? Plus, before your family hits the road this weekend, a storm alert. World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. Xfinity Mobile is a new wireless network designed to save you money, even when you've got serious binging to do. Wherever your phone takes you, your wireless bill is about to cost a whole lot less. Use less data with a network that has the most Wi-Fi hotspots where you need them and the best 4G LTE everywhere else, saving you hundreds of dollars a year. And ask how you get Xfinity Mobile included with your internet. Plus, get $300 back when you buy a new smartphone. Xfinity Mobile. It's simple, easy, awesome. Click call or visit a store today. Mattress Firm's most popular sale is back. Why? Because people like you loved it. So, for a limited time, we've dropped the price of a king to a queen and the price of a queen to a twin. Enjoy savings of up to $600 across America's best-selling brands. Save big on every brand in the store and rest easy knowing you got the best deal around. But the sale won't last long. Hurry in today for incredible savings. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s, like Ultima, Titan, and Rogue. Featuring Nissan's latest available tech, don't miss out on clearance savings. The bottom line, the smartest time to buy a new Nissan is now. Save up to 6,000 on the 2018 Rogue Hybrid, or save up to 4680 on the 2018 Ultima. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. For top quality floors at rock bottom prices, come to Floor & Decor. You're getting an incredible product for an amazing price, and that's hard to beat. Hardwoods, laminates, tile, or stone. Holy smokes, this place is huge. I'm on a budget, and I was able to go to Floor & Decor and save a lot of money. You will be blown away by this experience. The pros come here, I come here. If you love your wallet and you love your home, you have to go to Floor & Decor. Floor & Decor, you have to see it to believe it. Friday night lights turn on and the Beehive Blitz kicks off. The News for Utah sports team covers high school football all season long. All the incredible plays from across the state. The Beehive Blitz tonight at 10 on News for Utah. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Dan Pope, Weather Rate Certified, seven years in a row.
Here's what it looks like right now on the University of Utah Health camera downtown and uh, looks pretty good right now. A little bit of smoke in the air, so to speak, but moving farther south, it's pretty nice in Utah County. We have a few clouds around and then farther to the south in Cedar City, more clouds showing up. So there are some thunderstorms here and there. Temperatures once again have exceeded 90 degrees in Salt Lake City. We're 91 in Logan. We have 96 in St. George. So, so far this year, 52 days have been 90 or hotter. 39 of those days, 95 to 90 99, but we've only had two days of 100 or hotter. So a lot of heat there and the dry air combining to give us a lot of fires. In fact, way up here in British Columbia and Alberta, Canada, over 250 fires are burning. That, along with the fires burning in the west, bringing that smoke across the area. And unfortunately, we're going to take the computer model, and uh, this is the National Weather Service NOAA smoke model. Here's the state of Utah right here. This is a plume of smoke behind a cold front. Watch where this plume right here goes tomorrow afternoon and evening. So this is where it's going to be about 6 p.m. So we're going to see additional smoke moving in, even though it will turn quite sunny. It'll be a little bit breezy tomorrow. Luckily, the winds will turn more southwesterly Sunday and Monday. That should push it back out of the region and give us some improving air quality. And in the meantime, the inversion report does show that uh, air quality is yellow everywhere right now, except in Iron County, where it is green. Tomorrow's forecast shows the orange, yes, Ogden all the way to Provo, so Weber, Davis, Salt Lake, and Utah counties, yellow elsewhere, and again, it's mostly ozone in southern Utah. Here's the big picture, those showers and thunderstorms coming in associated with the cold front right here. They are getting a bit organized right now, and we've had a number of areas of flash floods. In fact, still a flash flood warning right here along the uh, Idaho and Nevada border, another one just over towards the, it uh, looks like Ruby Valley area. And as we get in a bit closer, you can see these thunderstorms to the west of Wendover and one right over Wendover. Additional storms now coming into the far northwest side of Utah. Showers and thunder showers cover southern Idaho. This is a bona fide cold front. It's going to move in and bring us a pretty good chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Now, southern Utah, this is mostly what we call afternoon, evening development of thunderstorms. They will uh, likely decrease once the sun goes down, but still a few of them hanging around out there right uh, near the Black Ridge between Cedar City and St. George, and then heavier showers. This one right here, this one has some purple in it. That's a bit of hail that's falling southwest of Bryce Canyon and additional showers near Escalante. Here's our forecast for tomorrow. We put this into motion right there, right at 11 p.m. So between 9, 11, maybe midnight, pretty good line of showers and thunder showers. The thing is that this will be coming through once the sun has set, so it doesn't have that extra push so hopefully we won't get a lot of lightning strikes, a lot of dry lightning strikes, and this thing will move quickly to the east. It'll be in Vernal by 4 a.m., Rock Springs by 4 a.m., and out of the state. Behind it, brisk northwest winds could hamper firefighting efforts. So that's the only real negative with this particular storm system. All right, our forecast for tomorrow showing you the high temperatures expected and a chance for showers and thunderstorms will be limited primarily to the early part of the day. Then we'll return with a chance for thunderstorms again next week as the monsoon makes another move north. Temperatures drop just a smidge. Now for the Wasatch Front, looking for the high tomorrow at 88. Likely to see a little more increase in smoke going into Saturday and Sunday. Sorry about that. It gets hot again Monday with scattered showers and thunderstorms all the way through the end of the week. Hmm. So other than some more smoke coming in, the weekend's not looks too good. bad. It looks really, really good. Yeah. Uh, quiet, cooler. All right, we'll take it. Thanks so much, Dan. Mm -hmm. Kim? All right, thanks, guys. You know, we often think of doulas as someone who helps women through pregnancy, but they can also step in at other times in our life. So here to talk about that is Lindsay O'Brien and Jude Higgins, both of which are end-of-life doulas. Ladies, welcome today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. tell me what an end-of-life doula is. Uh, so an end-of-life doula, we give that support to our clients as well as their families to help guide them through that entire death process. A lot of times there's a lot of emotion, emotion and, mm -hmm. and, and rawness that comes with, with a, you know, a diagnosis and knowing that you're going to be passing away. So we want to guide them through that emotionally, spiritually, you know, as well as we can. Yeah. So we focus on helping them get through any kind of maybe regrets or unfinished business that they may have that they're not going to be able to, you know, find that peace to right. let go and, you know, and have that peace and be okay with transition to death. Yeah. So we work through that with them and then we, we also assist them in creating a legacy project. It's so important oh, that nice. 
the family has something to remember them by, you know, and we want them to be a part of that. Right. So they, they can help create that. The so, other thing that we can do is we help with the vigil piece. Ah. So when someone is in end stages and they're transitioning, it's important to think ahead a little bit about what you want your space to be like. Yeah. How do you want your room? Do you want music? Do you want scent? How do you want people to enter? Are you adamant that you have your pets on your bed? Mm -hmm. Like, what does that look like? And we make sure those plans are carried out once that is set. I guess, I, from what you're saying, I can sense that there's probably some calm that goes along with the work that you do with these families who are experiencing something absolutely tragic. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Our, our goal in training doulas and being a doula is that we get our clients to a point that we're calling grounded clarity. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that they're happy about what's happening, but they're really clear. Okay, so how could someone become an end-of-life doula? What, what do they need to have? Well, we have a, in terms of, um, there are lots of training programs mm -hmm. nationally that offer this. Um, we're the only one in this area that offers training for end-of-life doulas. We offer initially a three-day training, and then um, we also have a certification program that's more rigorous. So we're aligned with hospice groups and with our certification program, they mentor um, and they, are sh they shadow people and then they're observed. Um, clients fill out information and they um, do additional training. Yeah. So they can be certified through HELD, but um, it's a little bit more rigorous, but they can start with a three-day training to see if it's something that they're interested they in, that they're called to do. Is there a place people can go if they're interested in doing what you do? Absolutely. They can visit www.mydeathdoula.com. Excellent. Well, yeah. ladies, thank you so much. And thank while you, you. we were off screen, we were talking about the amount of empathy that must go into this job. So we really appreciate what you thank do. You. Thank you. And thanks, thanks for so joining much. us today. You thanks bet. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back. Next at 5. We speak with a local man who tried to sue the Catholic Diocese and ask him if all these recent allegations of sexual assault are bringing back painful memories. Plus, the Holdo Zoo tells us about its call to action to help save the environment. Next at 5 on News 4 Utah. Our family is a, a very active family. I have three kids and a lot of stuff. The first time we took the ascent for a test drive, it reminded us a lot of our old Subaru that we absolutely love. We traded it out for something different, and I was so sad when we did that. In the ascent, they can all get in, they can all get their own seatbelt done. We are thrilled to be able to go back to Nate Wade Subaru and be able to have the experience that everyone should have when purchasing a new car. Come join us for the Subaru A Lot to Love event going on now. This is no place for the timid. Out here, one wrong move can mean the end. But whenever challenges try to pin you down, you bite back. With T-Rex Brute Force, the unmatched strength of a single loop of tape holds more than 700 pounds. So when you're faced with even the most ferocious challenges, bite hard with the absolute strongest duct tape. T-Rex Brute Force. Been thinking about updating your home? Well, I've got good news. There's no better time than right now at RC Willie. There's still time to dream big and save store-wide. Through Saturday, you'll find dreamy savings on dining sets. This counter height set is $7.99, and this versatile set is $7.99. Save $300 on this set, now $8.99. Enter to win $10,000 toward a dream vacation. Through Saturday, enjoy incredible savings in every department. Don't miss your chance to dream big and save at RC Willie. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Get 18% below MSRP on most 2018 Encore models when you finance through GM Financial. That's around 4700 below MSRP on this Encore Preferred. The pregnant mom murder investigation. He's accused of killing his wife and daughters. What we've learned about the case shocking America. Watch the next Inside Edition. Tonight at 6.30 on ABC4 Utah.
All right, now to a serious question. Is granola healthy? Uh, I just don't like where that question's going. Yeah, because you would think, <laughs> of course, right? But it's not really that cut and dry. Yeah, we do know that granola contains healthy ingredients like oats, nuts, and fruits, giving us important nutrients such as protein, iron, and fire, uh, fiber. Should we just stop there? Yeah, okay, no, you won't. gotta keep going. It packs a lot of calories. <laughs> when you add things like sugars, oils, even chocolate, yeah. granola can pack 600 calories in a cup. I love the chocolate cherry granola. I it's love chocolate cherry. granola. Oh, okay. It's awesome. Well, dietitians say a quarter of a cup is a good guideline. That's not a lot, though, if you think about it. You can also <laughs> make your own granola, but you have to make sure you have your measuring cup handy. Even healthy, good for you granola can be high in calories. You know, sometimes fat. I just like to eat stuff and don't pay any attention to how many calories it has, and I'm going to stick with that and for the granola. And then your tummy starts going, ooh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stick around. The News at 5 is coming up next. Thanks for being with us tonight. We appreciate it.